This air is not meant for us. It's foreign, ancient. Dinosaurs once breathed it, and it has been sealed in amber for over 100 million years. Scientists have studied these tiny bubbles and discovered that the oxygen level was 35% at the time, almost twice as high as it is today. Thanks to this oxygen-rich air, the Earth back then was filled with predators the size of buses and insects with wings large enough to block out the sun. Amber has preserved more than just the ancient air. Its golden depths have trapped creatures that lived millions of years ago. What are the strangest things ever discovered in amber? The most fascinating fossils found in amber. Let's start with an incredible discovery, an exceptionally well-preserved fossil. It's a tiny prehistoric lizard that was found in Kaliningrad, Russia. This species was previously unknown to science. Researchers named it Yontaro Gecko Balticus, after the Baltic amber that encased it. The lizard became trapped in amber during the Eocene epoch, approximately 54 to 34 million years ago. The gecko's front half, including part of a limb and the toe pads, is perfectly preserved while the torso and tail are completely missing. The entire fossil is only 0.6 inches long. You can see its short snout, a bulging forehead, and a 0.01 inch ear hole. The eyes measure 0.05 inches in diameter, and they are open. Yes, Yantaro Gecko had no eyelids. Instead, there was a transparent protective film. To clean its eyes from dirt, it simply licked them with its tongue, a behavior still seen in modern geckos today. The lizard's body was sturdy, covered in dense scales. But the most fascinating aspect was the limbs. Despite the gecko's tiny size, they were strong, with short toes and adhesive pads. These features made the lizard a natural climber, able to deftly scale trees, cling to bark, and even move along vertical surfaces. Previously, it was thought that geckos developed such abilities later. Thus, the specimen was initially classified as a geckonoid, an ancient relative of modern geckos. But how did only half of the lizard end up in amber? Where is the back half? The explanation is quite simple. Most likely, the lizard crawled too close to the sticky resin and couldn't escape in time. As a result, its front part was sealed in the sap, while the rear remained outside and eventually decomposed. You can see this remarkable specimen with your own eyes. The gecko is kept in the German Amber Museum in Ribnitz Damgarten. But if you think this is the coolest thing found in amber, wait until you see what's coming next. How about a dinosaur tail? Yes, you heard that right. But if you're imagining a massive block of amber, think again. This tail is tiny, only 1.5 inches long, and more than 99 million years old. It too was trapped in resin. Now, thanks to this fossil, the mystery of what dinosaurs actually looked like has been unveiled. But do you know how it was found? Nope, not during an excavation. In 2015, Chinese paleontologist Xing Lida spotted an unusual piece of amber at a market in Myanmar, among piles of ordinary trinkets. At first, he thought it contained an ancient plant, but it turned out to be a real sensation. The tail consisted of eight vertebrae and was covered in feathers. Indeed, this discovery also revealed that some dinosaur species had plumage, Analysis revealed that the upper part of the tail was chestnut-colored, while the underside was white. The feathers lacked a central shaft, like those of modern birds, but they did have barbules that formed a downy structure. Scientists believe the tail belonged to a young ciliorosaur, a group of dinosaurs that includes tyrannosaurs and modern birds. If anyone still doubted that birds evolved from dinosaurs, these ancient feathers in amber erased all uncertainty. But that's not all. Traces of iron, a product of hemoglobin decay, were also preserved inside the stone. This discovery could help researchers determine the color of the dinosaur's other feathers and understand more about the structure of its keratin. However, it won't be possible to clone the dinosaur like in Jurassic Park. DNA completely breaks down in amber after 1 to 1.5 million years, and this tale is 99 million years old. Interestingly, an ant from the Cretaceous period was also found in the same piece of amber, a double jackpot. Today, this incredible fossil is preserved at the Daishu Institute of Paleontology in China, where scientists continue studying it to uncover more about ancient animals. Yes, time is ruthless, but not when it comes to amber. 
It has the power to capture even the tiniest details, turning a fleeting moment into eternity. This was the case with a tiny predatory bird that found itself trapped in resin 127 million years ago. In 2017, paleontologists discovered a piece of amber from Myanmar containing an incredibly detailed fossilized skeleton of an ancient bird inside. It was less than two inches tall. Scientists were able to study the entire specimen, including its head, spine, and even soft tissues. They later reconstructed it in 3D. The bird belonged to the Enantiornithus group, a lineage of feathered creatures that dominated the Cretaceous period. It was a tiny hatchling resembling a cross between a sparrow and a lizard. Moreover, it was feathered right after hatching and may have been independent from the first moments of life, much like many modern birds, such as chickens or ducks. And here's something even more surprising. It had teeth right inside its beak. Unlike modern birds, this ancient chick had sharp teeth and claws on its wings. The Enantiornithes lived in forest environments. This species was very common and could be found everywhere. However, despite their numbers, they did not survive the catastrophe 66 million years ago. When the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs hit Earth, it caused somewhat of a nuclear winter. Forests burned, plant eaters perished, and predators had nothing left to eat. As the woodland habitats of Enantiornithes vanished, so did the species itself. Only the birds capable of adapting to open landscapes survived. Those who could walk on the ground, dig for food, and endure the chaos of the post-impact world. However, not all fossil discoveries provide clear answers. Sometimes what seems like a groundbreaking revelation at first turns out to be something entirely different over time. This is exactly what happened with one of the fossils discovered in Burmese amber. In 2020, the world was stunned by the announcement of the smallest dinosaur ever found. More precisely, it was identified as a member of the aviolae clade, or broadly speaking, birds. The specimen was named Oculodentavis congre, and the find became a true sensation. The skull of the specimen was the size of a hummingbird, around 0.6 inches. It had an elongated skull, large eyes, and long teeth. It seemed to be an ancient relative of modern birds. But then, something didn't quite add up. Questions arose. The skull's structure did not match any known species of dinosaurs. A team of researchers, led by Chinese paleontologist Wei Wang, from the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology decided to study the find deeper. After a detailed bone analysis, they suddenly discovered it was neither a dinosaur nor a bird. Why did they come to this conclusion? The creature had scales instead of skin, unlike birds. Also, its teeth were attached directly to the jawbone, rather than sitting in sockets like those of dinosaurs. Its eye structure and shoulder bones closely resembled those of lizards. A specific skull bone shape was found only in scaled reptiles. Thus, the dinosaur bird suddenly turned out to be a lizard. Later, another specimen of Oculodentivus was found, this time with a spine, soft tissues, and even preserved skin. When scientists scanned it, they were astonished. Oculodentivus represented an entirely unknown group of scaled reptiles. But why was the first find initially mistaken for a bird? It was all due to deformation. The first specimen's skull was compressed, making it look like a beak. However, the second specimen had a different shape and did not resemble a bird at all. Despite this dramatic misidentification, Oculodentavis remains a mystery. Its structure is so unique that scientists still struggle to place it on the evolutionary tree. It does not resemble any known lizard species. Could it be, perhaps, a completely new branch of reptilian evolution? The next discovery left no room for doubt. In the mines of the Dominican Republic, scientists found a chunk of amber containing a fossilized flea. At first glance, nothing unusual, right? Such fossils are quite common, but let's take a closer look. The discovered flea measured 0.2 inches. It was well-preserved and researchers were able to examine the specimen in detail. And they were in for a big surprise. Traces of bacteria were found on its proboscis and in its intestines. These bacteria closely resembled Yersinia pestis, the same bacterium that caused the bubonic plague, which wiped out a third of Europe's population in the 14th century. Previously, scientists believed Yersinia pestis originated around 5,000 years ago, but this discovery pushed that timeline back by millions of years. 
the age of the amber from these deposits is estimated to be 15 to 45 million years old. Incidentally, ancient mites with bacteria similar to the agents of Lyme disease had previously been found in Burmese amber. Such discoveries could completely change our understanding of mass extinctions. We tend to think that dinosaurs and many other animals disappeared due to meteorite impacts or volcanic eruptions. But what if viruses and bacteria were the real cause? Diseases might have played a role in mass extinctions. After all, the plague could have spread not only among mammals, but among ancient reptiles as well. Scientists are now working to determine whether this fossilized bacterium is truly an ancestor of modern Yersinia pestis. If confirmed, this would bring a great discovery. The plague might not just be a medieval epidemic, but an ancient killer that has been stalking living beings since time immemorial. Yes, all life is locked in an endless struggle for survival. And while the threat was a barely visible bacterium in the case of the flea, the next discovery reveals a much more tangible danger with razor sharp jaws and lightning fast reflexes. Scientists have discovered an astonishing scene frozen in time 98 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period. A piece of Burmese amber captured a prehistoric ant 0.2 inches in size, attacking a beetle larva in a dramatic mid-hunt pose. The species was given the name Linguamirmex vladi. Why vladi? It's a tribute to Vlad the Impaler, known as Dracula. And it's not just a joke. Its anatomy is pure vampirism. And soon, you'll see why. The most terrifying feature of this ancient ant is its horn. Long, sharp, and reinforced with metal particles. Is there another insect that carries such a metallic weapon? Some modern beetles strengthen their mandibles with zinc or iron, but ants? Never. It's as if evolution specifically equipped these species with perfect gear for brutal combat. These ants developed a completely unique, vertically-oriented mouth part, unlike anything we know. They are not ancestors of today's ants, but rather a separate evolutionary offshoot that became extinct a long time ago. And now the main question, how did it hunt? Unlike modern ants, which bite and tear their prey apart, this one used a completely different method. Its jaws functioned like a bear trap. When a victim touched the sensitive hairs on its mandibles, snap. The toothed jaws would instantly slam shut. The ant would then pierce its victim with its horn, and the hemolymph would flow down grooves in its jaws directly into its mouth. But here's another mystery. Was the horn meant for killing or just immobilizing? Perhaps the ant didn't suck blood, but held its prey to later drag it to its nest. Scientists still don't have a definitive answer. Yes, some animals did not survive natural disasters and climate change, but other species managed to endure. Their appearance may have changed slightly, but their essence remains the same. Today, we can observe their descendants, and thanks to Amber, we can see exactly what they looked like millions of years ago. You can see a 99 million year old piece of Burmese amber where scientists have discovered the remains of four ancient frogs. The specimens have a body length of 0.79 inches. The new species has been named Electrorana limoe. At first glance, a frog may not seem as exciting as a dinosaur, but this find turned out to be a true sensation. The fact is that ancient amphibians are poorly studied. For example, frogs appeared on Earth 200 million years ago yet their fossils are extremely rare. Their delicate bodies are hardly ever preserved, but amber provided a unique window into the world of the Cretaceous period. The Electrorana Lemoy fossils were not completely intact. Scientists were able to identify a skull with teeth, front limbs, part of the spine, and a hind limb. Using CT scans, they revealed fascinating details. This species closely resembled modern fire-bellied toads, they once lived in the hot, humid forests of the Cretaceous period. Today, their descendants live in a temperate climate. Inside this same piece of amber, researchers also found plant fragments, and even the remains of a beetle. Perhaps this was the frog's last meal before being trapped in resin. Yes, this is not the first time we've seen such a scene sealed in this time capsule. But sometimes, amber preserves deeply touching, even dramatic moments from ancient history. Imagine finding yourself 99 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. Prehistoric jungles stretch endlessly. 
Giant dinosaurs roam and unknown creatures thrive. A spider sits motionless on the bark of a tree. But then, something goes wrong, and it finds itself in thick resin. A moment later, the spider is trapped. Millions of years later, in a Burmese amber deposit in Myanmar, scientists discover the fossil and study it closely. It turns out that the stone contains a female spider of the extinct family Loganome Godope. But she's not alone. The mother spider is holding her egg sac, and her tiny hatchlings are by her side. It appears as if she was trying to protect and save them. A short time later, another fossil of the same species was discovered. This time, a cluster of tiny spiderlings who remained close to their mother after birth. Using CT scans, researchers studied the finest details the mother spider's eyes, the structure of her body, and that of the hatchlings. They also confirmed that the specimens indeed belonged to the extinct family Logonome gopidae. These ancient spiders resembled modern jumping spiders. The extinct species was about two inches in size. They had large, front-facing eyes, which were equipped with a special reflective layer called tapetum. What is that? In short, it's a special layer of the eye's vascular coating that enhances night vision. Remember how cats' eyes glow at night? Well, these spiders had a similar feature. No traces of web were found in the discovered species. Most likely, they were nocturnal hunters who did not spin webs but stalked their prey. Nevertheless, the species has not survived to our time. Nature took its course. At the same time, some creatures were so well adapted that they have barely changed in hundreds of millions of years. Yes, that's possible. Scientists have found proof. Ancient mites preserved in Triassic period amber. They were discovered in the Dolomite Alps in Italy. After extensive research, scientists confirmed that the amber is over 230 million years old. Just imagine. Until this discovery, researchers believed that the oldest arthropods appeared in the Cretaceous period, about 135 million years ago. But this is from the Triassic, a staggering 230 million years ago. The find suggests those arthropods were just around 0.08 inches large. And here's the strangest part. These ancient mites look almost identical to their modern relatives. They belong to the Area Phyodea superfamily, which today includes around 3,500 species. All of them feed on plants and sometimes cause distinctive plant deformations called galls. Scientists are convinced that their ancient ancestors did the same. But the fact that these mites have barely evolved is truly shocking. Think about it. They survived the dinosaurs, ice ages, and mass extinctions. And yet, they remained unchanged. Long segmented body, tiny claws, special mouth parts to feed on plants. All these key features were already there in the Triassic. The only noticeable difference? They had only two pairs of legs, unlike most modern mites, which have four pairs. How is this possible? What evolutionary mechanism allowed these creatures to remain virtually unchanged for hundreds of millions of years? Perhaps they had already found the perfect survival strategy back then. And finally, here's one more mystery. Is it possible to find a 99 million year old flower? The answer is yes. And this is not a joke. Two ancient flowers were discovered in Burmese amber. They were named Iophilitsa priscatellata and Philica pyloburmensis. Interestingly, their modern relatives, Phylica flowers, still grow in South Africa today. Why is this discovery unique? Simply put, flowers almost never fossilize. They wilt quickly or turn into fruits, leaving behind almost no trace in the fossil record. But thanks to Amber, these two specimens were preserved in astonishing detail. Burnt plant residues were also found in the same stone. This suggests that forest fires raged during those times. What does this tell about these flowers? Modern phylica flowers also grow in fire-prone environments. Their seeds can withstand extreme temperatures, and their leaves are designed to protect the flowers from damage. This means that 99 million years ago, their ancient ancestors already had the same superpowers.